Hey, welcome back. In this episode, we're going to learn about recommending a database encryption options. Encryption is the process of making data unreadable and unusable. To use or read the encrypted data, it must be decrypted, which requires the use of a secret key. There are two top level types of encryption symmetric and asymmetric. So let me explain these two options in detail. Symmetric encryption uses the same key to encrypt and decrypt the data. For example, Consider a desktop password manager application. You enter your password and they are encrypted with your own personal key. When the data needs to be retrieved, the same key is used and the data is decrypted. The second option is asymmetric encryption. This uses a public key and a private key pair. Either key can encrypt but cannot decrypt its own encrypted data. To decrypt, you need the paired key. Asymmetric encryption is used for things like TLS and data signing. Now let us look into encryption at rest. Data at rest is the data that has been stored on a physical medium. This could be data stored on the disk of a server, data stored in a database, or data stored in a storage account. Regardless of the storage mechanism, Encryption of data at rest ensures that the stored data is unreadable without the keys and secrets needed to decrypt it. The best practice for encryption at rest is to apply disk encryption to help safeguard your data. Using Azure Disk Encryption, it enables IT administrators to encrypt Windows and Linux IaaS VMs disk. And disk encryption combines the industry standard Windows BitLocker feature and Linux DMCrypt feature to provide volume encryption for the OS and the data disk. For Azure Storage and Azure SQL Database, encryption data at rest is by default. So what about encryption in transit? Data in transit is the data actively moving from one location to another, such as across the internet, or through a private network. Secure transfer can be handled by encrypting the data prior to sending it over a network or setting up a secure channel to transmit unencrypted data between two systems. Encrypting data in transit protects the data from the outside observers and provides a mechanism to transmit data while limiting risk of exposure. Microsoft uses Transport layer security, which is known as TLS protocol, to protect data when it's traveling between the cloud services and customers. So how can you identify and classify data? Suppose you have a scenario where previous incidents that's exposed sensitive data. So there is a gap between what they are encrypting and what they should be encrypting. You should begin by identifying and classifying the types of data they are storing and align this with the businesses and regulatory requirements surrounding the storage of data. Let's learn about how can you encrypt raw storage. Azure Storage Service Encryption for data at rest helps you protect your data to meet your organizational security and compliance commitments. With this feature, the Azure Storage Platform automatically encrypts your data with 256-bit AES encryption before persisting it to disk and decrypts the data during retrieval. You can use Microsoft Managed Encryption Keys with SSE or you can use your own encryption keys by selecting the option in the Azure portal shown in this example diagram here. This SSE automatically encrypts data in all Azure Storage Service, including Azure Managed Disk, Azure Blob Storage, Azure Files, Azure Queue Storage, and Azure Table Storage. This works on both performance tiers, both in standard and premium. How can you encrypt virtual machine? Disk encryption for Windows IS and Linux VMs isn't generally available in all Azure public regions and Azure government regions for standard VMs and VMs with Azure Premium Storage. IaaS VMs are secured at rest by using industry standard encryption technology to address organizational security and compliance requirement. 
and ISVMs boot under customer control keys and policies, and you can audit their usage in your key vault. In addition, if you use Azure Security Center, you are alerted if you have VMs that aren't encrypted. The alerts display as high severity, and the recommendation is to encrypt these VMs as shown in this example. How can you encrypt databases? TDE or Transparent Data Encryption helps protect Azure SQL Database and Azure Data Warehouse against the threat of malicious activity. It performs real-time encryption and decryption of the database, associated backups, and transaction log files at rest without requiring changes to the application. By default, TDE is enabled for all newly developed Azure SQL databases. Since TDE is enabled by default, your organization can be confident they have the proper protections in place for data stored in their databases. And how can you encrypt secrets? Azure Key Vault is a cloud service that works as a secure secret store. The Key Vault allows you to create multiple secure containers called vaults. These walls are backed up by hardware security modules or known as HSMs. And walls helps reduce the chance of accidental loss of security information by centralizing the storage of application secrets. Key walls also control and log the access to anything stored in them. Because Azure AD identities can be granted access to use Azure Key Vault secrets, Applications using managed identities for Azure services can automatically and seamlessly acquire the secrets they need. That concludes this episode. In the next lesson, we are going to learn about choosing between storage tiers. I will see you on the next one. Until then, take care.